Hey Leo, this is going to be a general love reading for how your person is thinking or feeling about you. So it is slightly different than what I usually do, but this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And it could be that you are a Leo or it could even be that your person is a Leo. So do feel free to also watch your person's sign because the roles can be reversed as is true in general readings, which also means that it might not resonate for all of you and that is perfectly okay. All right, and if you would like a personal reading, you can find all that information in the description box below this video. All right, Leo, let's see what is going on with your person, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the first half of November. 2022. Let's see. For the situation, we have the Four of Wands crossed by the Hierophant. Okay. Um, wow. This is a very, very strong connection here. Um, it could be a divine soulmate type of a connection where it just feels like, you know, this is home. This is your person. But the issue seems to be actual um, commitment or just it could even be... Um, another marriage or another relationship that is serving to be the challenge or for some of you this could even be um, tradition tradition cultural beliefs etc we'll see let's see the recent past we have the ten of wands all right so this has been a long journey I feel like you know this is um, something that even your person feels like was just a very very like long type long and challenging type of a situation with you. I also get that this person is feeling like a, a great responsibility or was feeling a great responsibility in the past, possibly with you or in whatever it is that is going on in their situation. Let's see for the near future, we have the High Priestess. Okay, so, okay, coming in touch with their intuition possibly, but maybe keeping it to themselves a little bit, we'll see. Let's see what's going on in their headspace. What are they thinking? We have the Two of Swords. All right, so a bit of a dilemma, trying to figure things out, trying to make a decision possibly. Subconsciously, we have the Page of Swords. Okay, so their subconscious, right? So deep down, they actually know what it is that they want to do. I actually feel like this person um, has something very specific that they want to say to you and they might be contemplating as to how or whether they should say this to you or not because I do kind of see them keeping quiet a little bit here. Let's see their current energy. We have the Ace of Cups and for your energy towards them we have the Knight of Swords. Yeah, okay, so this person does have a lot of love for you so I was right in saying that this does feel like a very, very strong connection that you have even if you are not in contact. All right, this is pure, genuine, genuine love. Now for you, it could be that you're feeling a little bit impatient or a little bit restless about the situation. We'll see more when we clarify. And let's see what their hopes and fears are. We have the Queen of Swords. We'll see what that's about when we clarify. Let's get into this, let's clarify. All right, Leo. So let's see this Four of Wands with the Hierophant. I get like for some of you, this may have even been, been a marriage or maybe we're talking about a marriage or there might be a marriage somewhere involved in the situation. It doesn't have to be. It's just going to be for some of you a specific detail here. So Four of Wands and the Hierophant, all right? This is also Taurus energy. So some of you might be dealing with a Taurus or maybe you're a Taurus watching for a Leo. Definitely let me know in the comments. Okay, and we have the King of Swords. The world card and the five of wands all right so there was a or there is a decision here made to close out a cycle to complete something um whatever that is or whatever this could have even been in the past where there there was this decision made to close out a cycle or to bring about some kind of an ending that that decision is actually creating some conflict here. Um, I feel like somebody has been very, very rigid, actually, 
um, in the way that they've been going about this or about something or in the way that they've been thinking about some kind of an ending and that is creating again a lot of uh, conflict I actually feel like there's a lot of tension here and I'm trying to understand it there's almost like tension or something that is not agreeable if that makes if that makes sense in this person's mind or in the way that they are perceiving this situation we'll see this will make more sense as we go along let's see that two of swords The King of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. Yeah, it's almost like there's this, all right, some kind of, I don't know if it's a tradition, I don't know if it's another marriage or something that is stable. This could even be work related, all right? The Hierophant could even be talking about work. Um, but something that is like long standing in their lives, I feel like, you know, they're at this crossroads, this dilemma between that, whatever that Hierophant is showing up now as this King of Pentacles, which could even be family, all right, um, or marriage, as I said, or a job. They're between that and love, basically, emotional fulfillment. But it could even be that, because there's something here that I, again, it just feels like, Oh, maybe that's what it is, the, the disagreeable energy that I'm talking about. It could be that, you know, these two separate energies, right? Um, the pentacles, hierophant, whatever that is, marriage, work, whatever, that is not compatible with love, right? With having love. So, and we do see here that they do hold this love for you. So it's kind of like they cannot have both of these things. So this is why it's like they feel like they're stuck because apparently, well, there is something here in this Hierophant energy that they do, you know, get something out of or that they have a hard time um, moving away from that. I'm trying to see if I, if I can get any more details come through here. For some of them, it could be a matter of status, kind of like status versus um, versus love or parental figure versus love, kind of like that. So they're kind of standing there in between the two, feeling like these two things don't agree. But then I'm also getting that for some of you, it's that they feel like, you know, there's tension and something that even though their heart is pulling them towards you, right, that there's something about this connection with you that feels incongruent or feels um, like there would be conflict and that's something that I feel is serving as an obstacle here for them like they're just thinking too rationally about it or trying to think too rationally about it let's see this page of swords because they do have because um, they do also have the queen of swords in their hopes and fears and the page of swords down here so Definitely some overthinking going on here, especially with that Two of Swords. Um, and then we also have the King of Swords. <laughs> All right, so for the Page of Swords, we have the Empress and we have the Knight of Swords. See, so there's a lot of swords. Some of you might be dealing with an air sign. So Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. There's something here that they would want to say to you, as I said, and it feels like, you know, there there's this drive, there's this impatience almost. Um, of them wanting to say this not only that i feel like they're picking up on your energy as this knight of swords where they can feel your restlessness they can feel you know your if you are impatient if this is impatience they can pick up on that or the fact that you too want to speak something to them and to say something to them some kind of a truth that maybe you feel you know you have um kept bottled in it's like they're picking up on that and they too feel like they want to say something to you um, so for some of you, even if you are in contact, again, this has to do with um, them wanting to say something that maybe they have not said just yet. 
So they are feeling this drive a big time to move towards you subconsciously, but they're overthinking it. They're overthinking it because of this um, hierophant, which again, I mean, it could be something else, but I feel like the, the main energies that this could be is either another long-term relationship, a work, or um, tradition, religion, social status, things like that. So let's see this Ace of Cups. The Death card and the Two of Wands. So Scorpio energy also showing up here. Ooh, all right. So this person currently, um, they feel this love that they have for you. They're not, they're not suppressing it. They're not ignoring it. They're not in denial of it. They, they know that this is not something that can just be done. They know that this is not something that is just going to die. That's the thing. Like they know that this is something that is going to be ongoing. And if they didn't know that in the past, well, right now they're aware of this. And this is also a part of what is causing them to be in this dilemma, because if they thought that they could just, you know, um, let this go and let this be in the past, they wouldn't even be in this dilemma to begin with. So here's that dilemma showing up again with this two of wands, like thinking, okay, what can I do about this? Is this done? So for a lot of them, they're feeling that this connection might actually be done, but they're still thinking about it and whether there is something that, that they can do about it. I'm also getting that for a lot of them, this this love and the, and the um, whatever it is, you know, that has happened between the two of you that has showed them what true love is, or even other circumstances may have showed them what true love is, right? Like they may have needed to experience, you know, something else that is holding them back in order to be able to make that distinction and to be able to see and to fully appreciate and recognize what true love is right because when we don't have the contrast we can't appreciate it so i feel like something like that is going on here and so that's causing a major transformation in this person but it is taking a little bit of time i feel like this is somebody who holds back a lot um overthinking things and just when things feel hard, they just don't take much action, all right? Because we have both that Two of Swords and that Two of Wands and the High Priestess. So, yeah, this is someone who does not move um, forward very easily. It's like they really need to process things internally first. Now, should you sit around and wait? I'm not saying that at all. I'm just giving you this person's energy. Let's see the Knight of Swords for your energy here. Ooh, the Ten of Wands for you and the Devil. Okay, so Capricorn also showing up here. Um, yeah, you're being asked to release this energy, whatever it is. Um, if you're feeling some restlessness, and I know that's so much easier said than done. Like, obviously, nobody wants to feel restless. Nobody likes feeling impatient. Nobody likes feeling these things. Um, but it's like the message for you here is that, you know, this this energy it's not it's not good for you it's actually creating a lot of burden on you and a lot of heaviness and it might be holding you back um, from other things and from actually moving forward and I feel like you know I'm, this isn't even something that you don't already know but that's that's the energy that I'm getting here for you is really that of okay you you want some communication if you haven't had that and you know you're right in wanting that there's nothing wrong with that but I feel like it's all about just you taking a deep breath and just relaxing like in this situation you know just so that you're not giving like this really restless energy to it 
because the other person is picking up on that and I don't feel like, you know, even though they want to say something to you, also they want to speak to you, the restlessness for this particular person, it can actually um, push them in the opposite direction. And so I'm not telling you, you know, to, you know, manipulate or to do anything um, with the intention of them reaching out to you but i'm getting that that's what's happening though is that you know by if you're feeling restless that's actually pushing them to close up more so yeah again it's not it's not easy if you're feeling that way but i also get that you're you're approaching um this phase where you know you feel like okay you know what like this has dragged on for way too long because we have that ten of wands in the recent past and we have it here in your energy as well so it's like really been a long time carrying this and i feel like you know you know that something about this situation is toxic even though you know there is true love here but just because there's true love here it doesn't mean that there also isn't like like a negative effect on you there is and you know that and so i feel like you're about to um end this somehow or you know not not the connection necessarily but just this phase so let's see that queen of swords the six of pentacles and the nine of wands and oh my god my doorbell just rang so i'm so sorry i will be right back Okay, guys, sorry about that. All right, so the Six of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands clarifying the Queen of Swords for their hopes and fears. All right, so yeah, this person is, they're hoping that they can find some kind of a balance between whatever this other situation is that they've been dealing with, with this Hierophant, whatever that is. But it's like they're they're hoping that they have some clarity over this so, so that they can finally, um, come out of this like indecision, this holding back. They want that. Um, but there's also this fear of that being very, very challenging. So I actually feel like their fear of how difficult it might be, like the hypothetical aspect of it, right? For the future reference of how difficult it might be. That's something that's actually blocking them. That's what's holding them back but they do want to be able to find a way to bring about this balance and to figure out how to go about it. Like they do want to have this, this clarity. It's like they don't like the way that they have been handling things up until this point. So yeah, all right, let's see the high priestess for what is coming up. And we have the Four of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. <clears throat> okay, so they are coming more in touch with their intuition. So it does feel like, you know, gradually they're releasing the overthinking and going more within, especially in terms of what it is that they want in the long term. So that's like a major factor here that they are taking into consideration. Okay, like what do I want the long term of my life to be like? Because it, I mean, it really feels like this has been going on for a very, very long time. We have the 10 of wands twice. We have that nine of wands. So yeah, it's been a long, difficult journey is what it's feeling like. So they wanna think about the long term, but there is still this energy of holding back a little bit um, coming up. So there's a lot of thinking that's happening. There's a lot of um, going more within and getting more in touch with what their intuition is telling them and what their higher self wants for them. But they're just holding it back for a little bit longer, even though they have this 10 of pentacles, right? This long term commitment that they want with you right in their minds so yeah this is the energy you can take in and do what you know you feel is best for you because i'm i mean with the energies that we saw for you here with the ten of wands and the devil it does feel like you're being guided to at least release this as much as you can for now so that you are not affected by you know having negative thoughts about it or um you know just the the toxicity of the restlessness surrounding this connection all right leo um yeah so there is i mean there is something happening here definitely on this person's end right like gaining more clarity thinking about the long term wanting to bring things into 
balance, wanting to resolve this, but they're just not sharing that information with you, all right? There's just a little bit of holding back especially in terms of, you know, the commitment that they are thinking about in the long run. All right, so let's see. Final message for Leo, if this resonated. And we have the energy is gaining momentum, the waxing moon. So yeah, it feels like it's about time for it to gain some momentum, right? So yeah, but again, that doesn't mean that you should just be sitting around and waiting, especially if it is affecting you in a negative way and you can feel that, you know. Yeah. So again, take that message as it resonates for you. All right, Leo, thank you so much for watching and much love.